港のようチャンネルへようこそ。Welcome to Harbor Yo Channel. Today I'm going to introduce Shakespeare's epic story, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> so, as you know, this is Shakespeare's epic story, and I know most people know the title of this story, but have you ever read this story? This is so famous. Okay, so let's get started. So, first, I'm gonna introduce the characters of Romeo and Juliet. There are lots of different characters, so you need to understand the types and their roles of each character. Okay, let's start. So, first, Romeo is the important protagonist in this story. And he's so cool. And then, Juliet. You shouldn't forget Juliet as well. She's also the important protagonist. She's heroine. She's so cute and lovely. And then, as you know, they are loving each other and they are very good p a r t n e r for each other. Okay, so let's look at the other characters related to the Romeo. So, Montague. Montague is Romeo's father, and then Lady Montague is his mother. So, when the story says Montague, you need to understand that those characters relate to Romeo. Okay, then Benvolio. Benvolio is family's kinsman. And Mercutio, he's Romeo's serving man. Then let's look at the characters related to Juliet. Juliet, so Capulet. Capulet is her father, and then Lady Capulet is mother. So when the story says Capulet, you need to understand that, oh, that characters relate to Juliet. And then another important character for Juliet is Nurse. Nurse is a,、um, like, it's not a mother, but she、um, plays an important role, like mother. So, Nurse supports Juliet in this story. So, it will be very interesting to look at the role of Nurse. And then t i b a l d He's the king's man to the Capulets. And then there are some other serving men. So there are some other minor characters in this story. So, first, i s c a l u s He's the prince of Verona. I'm gonna introduce the Verona later. Then, Paris. Paris is prince. King's man and Juliet's suitor. So you may think that what? Juliet loves Romeo. But Paris is Juliet's suitor, so it's gonna be interesting to look at the relationship with Juliet and Paris and Juliet and Romeo. It's a little bit complex, but it's very interesting. Yeah. Then Rosaline is the niece of Lord Capulet. And this is also an interesting, but at the first time, Romeo loved Rosaline. So, as you know, the relationship between Juliet and Paris, and then the relationship between Rosaline and Romeo. It's very complex, but interesting. And lastly, Friar Lawrence. He is a very, very important character for both Romeo and Juliet. Okay, the second one is setting. When you read the story, first thing that you need to understand is setting. So, as I said before, this story takes place in Verona. This is located in Italy, 
But at the time when the Romeo and Juliet was written, Italy wasn't a unified country. As you can see in this picture, Italy is a very beautiful country and Verona is a very like, lovely city. I've never went there before, but if I have chance, I want to go there. Then this um, story also takes place in 14th century, meaning 200 years before Shakespeare lived. This era is also known as the Medieval Industrial Revolution. So that is between the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. So when you compare those two pictures and the pictures that I um, posted on the last slide, you can know that the city is very different. When you compare the 14th century and the current era, the Verona is very different. Okay, then next one is theme. If you understand the theme, you can easily analyze the story. Okay, so there are four major themes. The first one is tragic fate. This story is known as the tragic love story. So this theme is very important. Next one is dangers of hasty actions. You may think that Romeo and Juliet is the love story, but this hasty action also plays an important role. So it will be interesting when you focus on this theme when you while you're reading the Romeo and Juliet. And next one is of course love. Yeah, love. And then, last one is danger of passion. Romeo and Juliet love each other so much. That's why danger of passion is an important theme. And motives. This is also important. There are four major ones. And the first one, love or, de or gender, gender and violence or death. As you can see, love and violence, love and death, it's very interesting, right? So you can compare those two different motives while you're reading this story. The second one is light and darkness. This is a very opposite idea, but you can find those light and darkness elements in different um part of this story so you need to focus on that point the third one is love and hate they love each other but they hate other people it's very complex but interesting okay, and then last one is poison and medicine it's similar as light and darkness poison and medicine are opposite ideas but you know what I mean if you read this story, so it's gonna be interesting, yeah. And then last one is other elements that you need to know. So this story is also known as the tragic story. So there are three, um, three elements that you need to understand for tragedy. The first one is hero or heroine. There are lots of conflicts with other characters regarding hero and heroine, meaning Romeo and Juliet, so you need to follow the different conflicts in the story. The second one is chaos. Due to the love, affection between Romeo and Juliet, there are lots of different chaos. Chaos in city and chaos in, the, in their relationship. The last one is irony. As I said in the theme when I when I introduced the theme love functions as sickness and poison so this story is not a story about pure love or pure affection love plays an important role as sickness and poison so it's really complex also love and death 
And lastly, this story also has an element of comedy. So when I introduced the、um, characters, I said the nurse. There is a nurse of the Juliet, and she is the major characters who incorporate the comedy elements in this Romeo and Juliet. So they are mirroring and mocking. So please check those elements when you read the story. Okay, that's the end of the introduction of Romeo and Juliet. ご視聴ありがとうございました。Thank you for watching. チャンネル登録、いいねボタン、そして動画の共有もお願いします。Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to share this video to your family, friends and other people. ではまた次の動画でお会いしましょう。See you next time. Bye!